This is a video by Richmond. Today we're working on a Dodge Journey. This happens to be a 2009 model. And what we're doing today is we are removing and replacing the blower motor resistor. The blower motor resistor is located below the glove box, down in this area, right down here. First thing we got to do is get this felt piece out of the way. It's held on by a couple of these plastic pins. Hopefully we can reuse these if we're careful. Careful Rich, careful. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful. See if we can rotate that a little bit, get a different spot. Oh boy, we got it. Uh, it's out of the way. Here is the blower motor resistor right here, and it's held in by. Two Phillips head screws. You gotta love Phillips head screws in a nice tight spot like this. So we're gonna remove those screws, get it down, and then remove the electrical connector from the resistor. Now to get that resistor out, I'm using a short, a shorty. We call that a shorty Phillips. Nice tight spot. Lovely place to put a Phillips screw. If I was an engineer, I'd come up with a better way than this. What about just using some clips to hold it in? It's not like it's a big part that needs to be held in with screws. There you go. Just to show you how brittle this lock is, I just pushed on it, snapped off right there. I mean, come on. I didn't push on it that much. All right, what's left of it? Boy, that's not an easy connector, I'll tell you. Not an easy one. That's why I brought it down so you could get at it better and still. But, anyways, there's our blower motor resistor. Okay. Now we can put it back in. Low motor resistor is back in place. To make the job easier, make sure you use your little stubby there. Okay. Now we can put our felt pad in and we are done. So that's all there is to removing and replacing the blow motor resistor on your Dodge Journey.